what's going on everybody out there this is popular stranger and we are back at you again today with another madden 24 ultimate team video in today's video we're going to be going over the content schedule for this week in mutt 24 we got a lot of stuff on the way and also talk about what you need to be doing before season one and the competitive pass end now if you guys enjoy this video if you like it if it helps you out make sure you go ahead and click that thumbs up button shows a lot of support on the channel helps the videos get noticed also if you're brand new here you're searching on youtube for mutt 24 content whether it's how to make coins, how to get free players, how to build your ultimate team, you found the right channel for everything. Stay a while, click that subscribe button, turn that notification bell on as well so you guys are alerted when we drop additional videos. Let's get right on into it. My apologies for the lack of videos over the last couple days, but we are back from vacation and ready to get back to work. And EA just put out the content schedule for this week, and I mean, just look at it. This is a thick content schedule. A lot going on this week. We start with the AKA promo. If you guys missed the reveals from last night on Twitter, here are the two cards that you can expect. Vernon Davis is going to be on offense. Looks like one of the better tight ends in the game. We'll likely be trying to pick him up today for, for some gameplay. And on defense, we get Marlon Humphrey, which for a person who plays a lot of man coverage, this looks like a pretty good cornerback for the scheme that I rock. So we don't know if we're going to be getting a secret or bonus L TD like we did last week with Andrew Luck, but of course, AKA content and content during the week, Monday through Friday, usually comes out at 1.30 p.m. Eastern time, so when that AKA stuff drops later this afternoon, you can certainly expect a video from it. Season 2 is going to be starting this week as well. I'm going to go over the specific dates on that, plus the competitive pass. If you look towards the bottom of this content schedule, you can also see that the competitive pass, uh, field pass, release number 2 will be dropping, so they're probably going to be on two different dates. Not a fan of that but we will do our best to navigate through it we also have the hispanic heritage month promo which is going to be great for no money spent players now we don't know what ovrs these players are going to get but i can guarantee you that all of the content coming from it will be free they did it last year they've done the black history month promo several months in a row as well so or several years in a row i should say if we can get a bunch of maybe free 86 or 87 overall cards from the promo that to me would be a w team of the week of course is coming on Wednesday, Wednesday afternoon, about 1.30 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow morning after Monday Night Football concludes tonight. We will be dropping our Team of the Week predictions. A lot of really good performances in week number four. Some big names could be getting cards. Then we have Unstoppable, which is a brand new promo. We've never seen it before. I don't know what to expect from it, but I'm certainly excited and intrigued to see exactly what type of cards we get. And coming off of a terrible Gridiron Guardians promo, EA has some a lot of work to do is probably the easiest way to put it. They better deliver on this promo and all of the content coming this week. Competitive field pass release number two. We alluded to it a moment ago. Likely going to be coming out on Friday. And then we have the legend promo that we get each and every Saturday morning at about 10.30 a.m. Eastern time. Also pay attention to the GMM dates. So tomorrow, which is Tuesday, we have October 3rd. And it says 7 p.m. Eastern time. So according to EA, when they tweeted out this content schedule, they said for that special stream, it's going to have season two information, the Hispanic Heritage Month promo, team of the week reveals and the competitive pass so a lot of information dropping and then on october 5th which is thursday morning that's likely going to be the reveals for the unstoppable promo that will come out later in the afternoon on thursday now it is also october which means most feared is on the way and if you're new to mad and ultimate team most feared is one of the bigger promos of the entire year usually lasts through several parts so i'm thinking maybe next week or the week after that we could see the first release of most feared and i know a lot of people are expecting or at least hoping for the team diamonds promo i don't know if we're going to get it anytime soon but hopefully we do because that usually presents at least one card for all 32 teams and it's usually a really really good theme team based promo let's talk about the competitive pass and the season one field pass pretty much all of the field passes it's always important to pay attention to the end date Gridiron Guardians, the current promo that's going on right now. This one had a very short lifespan, not the greatest promo in the world, but the field pass, unlike all of the other promo field passes, expires a lot quicker because it's going to go away along with the season one and competitive pass content. So you basically have two days to get this one all finished and max out. The level 20 reward, of course, is a non BND 86 overall. Those cards go for a little bit over 100,000 coins if you want to go out and finish this field pass you can make some coin or get a decent player from it so it's expiring i did the calculation here on wednesday afternoon at about 1 
4.30 p.m. Eastern Time, which is a little weird because we're so used to content, the big promos at least, dropping on Thursdays or Fridays. This sounds like with that special stream coming on Tuesday night at 7 p.m. Uh, that we can expect Season 2, Team of the Week, and the Hispanic Heritage Month promo all to be dropping on Wednesday and everything else in the game expiring at that same time on Wednesday. Also, we're likely going to get a gameplay patch, probably the first big gameplay patch of the year. We don't like it when they do this on the same day as big promo drops, but it seems like we're probably headed that way. Usually in the beginning parts of every month, we get a brand new gameplay promo. I'm sorry, a brand new gameplay patch. So then we take a look at the Season 1 Field Pass, and this one says it expires in two days, two hours, and four minutes. If you go into the pass, I do just want to point out here that if you back out of it, you can see here it says it expires in one day, 23 hours, and 38 minutes. I don't know which one is the safe bet to go with, but this one kind of adds up again to that Wednesday afternoon content drop. So I'm going to say that this probably, Season 1, probably expires on Wednesday afternoon afternoon at 1 30 p.m eastern time at this point i hopefully you you all got to level 55 or you're pretty close here i believe double xp for the season one field pass is still going on so what can you do to try to earn xp it's always going to be very straightforward in the season one field pass you have objectives here if you've maxed all of these out and i believe this 50 red zones trips is a brand new one that they maybe added a couple days ago but if you've pretty much maxed everything out here you've gotten your 30 days there's nothing you can really do inside this field pass other than your daily objectives to earn XP. You're going to have to look through the other field passes to find those XP rewards to maybe boost you up. But as I was saying, if you can, you want to at least get to level 55 because that will max out the Jalen Ramsey card, gets him up to an 89 overall with certain team chem, especially the season one chem. If you have all five season one players on the team at the same time, uh, that's going to boost his speed up, which makes him even better. But he's been one of my favorite favorite quarter our cornerbacks almost called him a quarterback he's been one of my favorite cornerbacks in the game pretty much all year and if you can get to level 57 this is going to give you a nice little jump start on the season two field pass in previous years or last year i should say it was 20,000 xp i think it's only 10k xp this time around if you don't get past level 57 i wouldn't stress it too much i mean you got basically 20k here a staller a star elite pack which let's just face it these packs haven't been great for a lot of people the majority of the community and then finally the triumph elite pack I mean, it's a pretty cool free pack. It costs about 110k in the store. Maybe you get something good, but it's not like a guaranteed legend pack or something of that nature. So I wouldn't freak out if you can't max it out, but you know, try to get to level 57 at the bare minimum. If you scroll through all of the other field passes, I mean, you have Campus Heroes here. We talked about Gridiron Guardians. You got Ultimate Kickoff. They all appear to be ending right around that same time, 1.30 p.m. Eastern Time on Wednesday. Uh, this is going to be your other channel or other spots here to get XP. So if you haven't knocked out, for example, like in the Ultimate Kickoff, level 15, level 17, 13, 11, if you haven't knocked out, you know, objectives within these field paths and reached these levels, this is your other way, your other opportunity to get XP for the Season 1 field pass. And you can always go to the objectives here. You're going to have to play through solo challenges, knock out sets, win head-to-head -head or solo battle games with specific players from these promos in your lineup. So these are all the things that you could and should be doing right now to to earn XP in the Season 1 Field Pass. And then the Competitive Pass, because that's going to reset on Friday, you have a few extra days to do this one. If you can, you want to at least get to the George Pickens card, which comes later on down the road here. You can see I'm pretty far from it. I don't know if I'm going to make it here. We got, you know, the rest of this week, basically. But if you can get there, level 48, especially for a no money spent player, this is a really, really good free card. And if you can get to the end of it, you know, you're going to guarantee yourself an 89 overall legend. Also very curious to see with a brand new season and a brand new competitive pass, will we see a jump in overall, maybe starting on Saturday with the legends going up to a 90 overall and then the rest of the promos kind of following suit i think we'll get a better understanding for that we know akas that come out today are still 89s we'll see what happens on wednesday with the team of the week cards and then that unstoppable promo on thursday will we see an ovr jump on either of those we don't know i mean after season two comes out on wednesday again team of the week will kind of follow with that at the same time and then the unstoppable promo being the next way next day that'll probably give us our best kind of test and understanding on what to expect from car going forward and right now 86 have a ton of value because they're going to build out promo cards but 
If we jump up to 90 overalls for the champions, that means the 87s will then increase in value. So if you have those in your binder, definitely save them. I would not invest in those right now because we just don't know, but eventually 87s will be like the next card up to build out promo champions unless they totally change the format that they did in Season 1. So there you have it. That's everything that's going on in Mutt right now to max out those field passes and what to expect this week, a.k.a. is coming later this afternoon. Stay tuned for it. My name is Popular Stranger. I'm out. Peace.